I am so happy that you've come to visit me today here at This Side Up, where we will be unboxing the most high-end toys and show you the most interesting things about them. In the last video, we were unboxing, examining, and transforming Autobot Blaster, the most musical robot in the Transformers universe. The link to this video you can find in the description below. Today, we continue to explore the world of Transformers by Hasbro, but this time, we will meet the most powerful archenemy of the Autobots leader Optimus Prime, the leader of the Decepticons, Megatron. Are you ready to unbox and transform him? You'll also learn a bunch of new and interesting facts about the robot and Hasbro. Check it out, like, and subscribe. Friends, don't forget that we will be happy to hear from you about what toy you want to see us unbox next. You can write your suggestions in the comments below, and we will do our best to unbox them here on this side up. In the last video, we were talking about how much Hasbro has done for kids, so here are some new facts about it. In 1995, Hasbro began a short-lived video campaign, and they developed and created Hasbro Interactive in order to compete in the video game arena. Several Hasbro properties, such as Monopoly, have been made into successful video games already. In 1998, Hasbro Interactive acquired the Atari Corporation and their related properties, a pioneer in video games. In the present moment, Hasbro toys are not only the beloved toys of children, but also part of mass culture itself. Hasbro action figures became the base for a great variety of cartoons, comics, and even movies. Yes, we are talking about the Transformers toy line, which came to life in popular cartoons and even appeared on the big screen in films directed by Michael Bay. The film's success made Hasbro change the design of its robots and made them just like they are in the films. Now, the Transformer toy lines look pretty realistic while still being about the most fun toys on the market. Now let's look at Megatron and see what he has in common with his movie Doppelganger. Here it is. He's one mean giant. Shut your mouth. What? I'm just talking about giant robots. Turn the box and check out some of the differences with the other robots in the Hasbro series. Megatron has two modes, robot mode and tank mode, and you can change him in just 15 easy steps. On the box, we see a little description of Megatron himself. So cool. Unboxing. I think he jumped out at me! But hooray! I got him! Let's look at this. Megatron is awesome, and he's a bit heavier than the other robots. Okay, let's put him aside for now, and try to get his blaster and missile out of the case. First the missile. Then the blaster. It comes apart! Wow! Let's put the packaging back inside the box and put it to the side. Let's look at the collector card. As always, you can see the picture of our robot on one side, and the Transformers logo on the other. Here's the blaster! And the rocket. This time, there are some stickers that came along with the collector card. We'll stick them on later but let's begin to transform the robot now. Megatron was not always the vicious and powerful, brutal dictator of the Decepticons that he is now. He was once a brother in arms with Optimus Prime himself and a student of Sentinel Prime, appointed to be Cybertron's protector and the commander of its defense force. But Megatron resented his comrade, knowing that he was a Prime, and therefore Sentinel's favorite son. This anger allowed the Fallen to ensnare him, and lead him to the revival of the Decepticons. Even without the Fallen, it's not hard to imagine that Megatron would have erupted Cybertron into a war to rid himself of Optimus. It's time to transform the ultra-powerful Megatron. Let's begin. Of course, we'll look at the instructions first. As you see, it's a little bit smaller than the others, but still very detailed. Following all the steps, 
we will change from robot mode to tank mode, then back into robot. Also, here we can see where we should stick the stickers. Depending on what you're watching or reading, Megatron could transform into three different types of modes. In comics, it's a Walter P-38 handgun and a tank. In the movies, he could change into a jet. And if you look hard enough, sometimes even a T-Rex. Apparently, Hasbro decided to choose a more traditional mode, but I think it'd be pretty cool to see him turn into a jet as well. Alright, our super awesome tank is ready. Now let's check the main gun. Load up the rocket. Bang! Oh, a misfire. It's okay, just reload the gun. Now Optimus Prime, you better look out. Bang! Hooray! Oh, 360 no scope headshot. The main gun can even telescope. Nice! But. It's time to transform Megatron back into his giant robot form. Now that Megatron is back in his fierce robot fighting form, it's time to stick on the stickers. Now that we're following the instructions, let's begin. Alright, that's all of them! And now I have a question for the Transformers lovers out there. My question is, in which comics did Megatron first show off his tank mode? Be very careful! I'll be waiting for your answers in the comments below. Let's see who loves and knows about the Transformers the most. Friends, if you have any questions concerning Transformers, Hasbro, robots, or their stories, Write in your questions in the comments below, and we will answer each and every one of them. A special thanks will go out to our follower with the most interesting question. At last, it's time to rate the toy. First is safety. Five points. Megatron doesn't really differ from the makeup of the other robots. Second is quality. Also five points. I really enjoyed transforming it. Next, originality. Three points. I think it would be better to create a jet mode instead of a tank mode. Packaging, four points. It's good, but it's not so bright and less informative than the others. The last is price. The average price of this toy is $50, but I think this toy is definitely still worth it. Well, dear friends, I think it's time to say goodbye. I hope that you've enjoyed this Megatron from Combiner Wars Transformer as much as I did. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be waiting for your questions and remember to think about this toy and other toys that you would like to unbox with me. See you soon next time here on This Side Up. Bye bye!